Welcome back. This Tuesday, we have our couch graced by Steph Nora Okere. She is a Nigerian actor, script writer, filmmaker, and so much more. In fact, in 1997, she became the national vice president of the Nigerian Actors Guild, and by 2015, vice president of the Script Writers Guild of Nigeria, and has even won the Special Recognition Award for the City People Entertainment Awards as at 2016. This is the film premier extraordinaire, Steph Nora Okere. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, you've been with us in the kitchen already. We've already started getting to know each other. Yes. Um, but what many might not realize is how you came through the industry, the struggles mm. that you had to go through. Wow. I know you probably have a few funny stories you want to share. Do you want to let us in on that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. All right. Uh, it's a whole lot. Mm. It's a whole lot. Um, but I can just uh, tell you uh, from the beginning mm. to a certain stage. Okay. Um, coming into the industry, I came in as a... As, um, a student, a, a drama arts student, okay. a graduate from Obafemi Awolo University. And everything I knew about acting was on stage. Okay. But coming be before, or uh, yeah, in, in front of the camera was totally different for me. I found myself um, um, struggling between doing it the stage performance way or for okay. camera. So most times I was overacting. Mm. And sometimes I was looking away from the camera and it was obvious what I was doing. Okay. But over time, I picked up. Mm. Um, my career kind of went up the ladder from one stage to the other. Mm. Uh, at the beginning, I was very eager. I wanted people to know me, to yeah. see what I was doing. Mm. Although it didn't take quite long before I got that recognition. And we know you are one of the most recognized in terms of being a, a woman in Nollywood. Thank you. But that also comes with this pressure. Yes, it does. It um, does. So right now, you, you know, there's social media to sort of boost and bolster a career. But how were you able to, you know, sustain that recognition over the years? Back in the day, like I told someone, it's been like a paradigm shift for me. Okay. Moving from being that person that the press wants to get an appointment to interview, the press wants you to make an appearance, or sometimes when you see someone write about you without your consent, mm. you're like, why did you do that? Mm. But now it's a totally different yeah. uh, ball game. Mm. In fact, people take their own pictures yeah. and put it out there. Mm. And what, whatever they do, I'm eating. Here I am, I'm driving, <laughs> look at I me, am. I'm blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and if people don't even like or look at what they're doing, they're not happy. Mm. So it's a different, it was a different uh, environment for us then. Yeah. We knew that people were looking at us, so we acted and behaved in a certain way, yeah. especially when you are in public. Of course. I, mm. But now people don't seem to care, they just yeah. want to let everything out. Yeah. And to me, it's coming hard to <laughs> wrap my fingers around it. <laughs> I actually, I have to appreciate you because you were trending when there was no social media. Yeah, uh, yeah but it, then, was, it was crazy. But then again, getting roles wasn't as easy because no, there was a lot of competition. A lot of competition mm -hmm. and you didn't have enough um, medium like people have TikTok right now. Yeah. They have their Facebook and Instagram where yeah. they can just improvise something mm. and a producer can say, oh, I like that. Mm. Then you had to put up with a lot of mm. other artists mm. during an audition. Okay. You need okay. to put in your best. Yeah. You need to be sure that you're in the right mood. It was much more tasking. Mm. I'm not saying it's better now, yeah. but uh, I can only say they have it easier now. Okay. Because back in the day, uh, you're put under a pressure. Okay. And most times even, because you did so well, doesn't mean you get the role. Wow. Wow. So. Okay. So, so I, I hear you wanting to, to talk about the real negative sides, but I feel like you're skirting over it just a little. <laughs> because there was so much in the industry. Like, for instance, family, hearing that you were in the industry, there was some sort of stigma. Uh, uh, well, not for me, though. Okay wasn't stigma okay. at all. But mm -hmm. the only thing is going back to university. Okay. My father thought I was actually doing law because mm. that's what mm. I said I was going to do. Oh, okay. So doing theater arts mm. to him mm. and to some members of my family were like, mm. how are you doing theater arts? How are you going to get a job? Wow. Because then there was just new masquerade and village headmaster, maybe wow. one or two ripples and mm. oh, mm. you know. 
So, but the stigma of maybe you're an actress, you yeah. have a lifestyle that is not okay. No, I didn't go through that. Okay. Not with my family. Okay. But of course, in the outside world, yeah. we have situations whereby people see you for the role you play. Yeah. Back in the day, I've had experiences where a woman gave me a big slap on my back. Like, you are the one. Wow. You're the one. What you did to your mother-in-law. Wow. Was that okay? Wow. You know, so, and I, I've been in a restaurant where a guy walked me out like, you can't sit on that table. Wow. He indicted a man of God. Wow. I'm like, why did, when did I do that? I realized it's in a movie. Wow. So those challenges are there, but Goodness being me. stigmatized mm. for being an actress, no. Okay, I'm I so glad to hear that. that. <laughs> uh, but you're not just an actor. Mm -hmm. You're also a filmmaker as well. And a and writer I, especially. Writer. Okay. Um, in fact, you, you held some great positions in terms of the Screenwriters Guild as well. Yes, yes. There's a lot of uh, responsibility, f you know, for a woman like yourself being in those positions. Yeah. Uh, but now you have a, a movie coming out. Talk to yes. us about this. All right. Um, I have a movie I wrote since, I started writing since 2011. Wow. Okay. Yes. And it took me till 2017 okay. to be able to shoot it. That's how close it is to my heart. Wow. Uh, the movie is titled Robata. Okay. Robata envelops everything the average African or Nigerian young girl mm -hmm. is putting up with. Okay. Most of them, not every, though. Sure. And um, this trend they are putting up with, this is, it, 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 it's kind of becoming a norm. Mm. And the society has, most times society looks at it and looks away. Yeah. Like, oh, it's there, it's there. But no, we need to deal with it because um, some of these young girls can do better. Of course. They can live better life. Mm. And they actually have dreams and aspirations that they want to achieve. Sure. So Robata is a story of the challenge of the average mm. African girl child. So now you said you started writing from 2011 till 2017. That's yes. about six years, yes. give or take. Yeah. And the situation of the average Nigerian young woman mm. has really changed or evolved fact, over the years. Yeah. But mm. I know there's still some things that stay the same. I mm. feel like the story might have changed throughout the years, just a little. It, it only got more, um, what's the word, sophisticated. Wow. You know, as the industry is growing, like this table right now, mm. the model we had then, mm. this model is more modern, more yeah. cuter, yeah. more... Mm -hmm everything mm -hmm. is just with the same situation. Okay. They just grow to whatever the society has to offer because it's a trend okay. that I don't want to call any names. I want you to wait for the film and see what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. okay, It's a trend that has been there that is just metamorphosizing with the society. Okay. That's why the society is kind of living with it, mm. but it's not the right thing to do. Mm. So I think this is time for us because um, I always tell people, Road model is road mo a role model. Okay. Positive role model, negative role model. Mm. Mm. They're all role models. Mm. But if we keep fronting the negative role model to our girls, I'm concerned about the girls. Yeah. By the way, I have an NGO, Big Sister Care Foundation. Okay. Okay. And I, that's what drove me to go ahead and do a film of this nature because it's still in my beat to yeah. support the existence, the well-being of the African, especially Nigerian girl child. And I have to appreciate you for everything you, you've put into this because I can hear the passion with, with yeah, which I'm you're talking about. I'm very passionate about it. And it took so long to, to bring it out. Yes, it, it did until I got the support of Bank of Industry. Oh. I had to take up a loan okay. to be able to shoot the film. Wow. And okay. you, can, you, can, you can see how passionate I, I, I am about it. Let's talk about um, you know, the cast, the crew. Where did you shoot it? Here in Lagos. Here in Lagos? Yes. Okay. Any key characters that are, well, let's say, the more popular ones, or did mm. you pick actors? Did you pick actors that were um, picked because of their talent, or was it because of names? No, no, no. I, for the lead girl, yeah. for instance, mm. I had a list of lead. I was actually supposed to star in the film okay. for that character, yeah. but because of the, um, the enormity of the project, mm. I had to step back. Mm so that I can put all my, um, all my energy into yeah. producing it. Uh, it. It wasn't easy. I went from one actress to the other until I really got the person that fit the character. Okay. In fact, it's, it's two act actresses okay. that one transcended to the bigger version. Okay. So I had okay. some Kelly Yama play oh. the older version. The younger That's version it. is an actress, uh, Queen Okoye. 
Okay. Then I also have Wale Ojo, yeah, yeah. who is the bad guy of the film. <laughs> and then there's uh, Kali Kago, mm. Kepi Ekpeyong, mm. Kelechi mm. Udegbe, uh, even Kafi Dance, she's in the film. So it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a stellar cast. Stellar cast, but amazing But I still have ensemble. upcoming artists who also made good performances. Honestly, I'm excited okay. to see this come out, after, especially after all the effort you put into this. Okay. And for those that don't know, you know, these are the, the, the queens of Nollywood I'm talking about. One of them is in the building. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, you know, feeling starstruck here, but uh, I, feel, I feel you've had one of those journeys that people can look up to and emulate. Right now, we have um, so many role models online and influencers, but mm. then there's some who have actually walked the walk and talked as they talk to talk. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. So. All right, now you were with me earlier in the kitchen. Okay. And we were cooking, so it's time to taste the food now. Okay, one thing. One thing. The movie is premiering. Okay. On the seventeenth of February. Okay. Okay. At the Silverbird Cinema. Oh. Okay. In Abuja Central Area, precisely. Okay. And so far, we have fantastic support from Mountain of Fire and Miracles um, Ministry. Okay. They are supporting us oh, and fantastic. to be able to premiere the film. Thank you and so, so much. And so many other supporters. Thank you so much. Okay, We're going to take a, a quick look at, uh, at part of the trailer and we'll be in the kitchen.